Uh, Geordie's on the line. Hello, Geordie. Good morning. Hello. Is he there? Sorry, Geordie. Geordie's on too. Is he? With his memories. Jo with his memories? All right, tell me this before before you talk to to to, to Geordie. Why, why are you telling me he's here with his memories? No, I, I don't mean he's here with a, a box with his memories in it. Why did you, you say that? He's here with his memories. No, I didn't mean to say that because Janet and I are talking here. Stop you saying see? stuff like that to me. I'm not saying things like that to don't you. Don't be saying he's here with his memories. I didn't mean to say that. That was an accident. That's a reason. I, Janet and I are talking here. Yeah, well, and we're talking. She said to me, do you remember? She's talking to some person on the phone here. Okay. And there's... Okay. Do you remember when your father or your mother would go to light a fire in another room? Yes. They would get the shovel. Yes. And, and, and lift up a couple of burning coals. So Jordy does that still. And how, how do you know? Because he told me about it a number of times in this programme whilst you weren't listening. Well, he had nights in his house. And he remembers nights as a wee boy and as a young man. Mm -hmm. People called to the house and fiddles playing and drinking. Well, I, drunk maybe and I should ask him instead of you telling me. You don't oh. mind, do you? No, I don't. It's all right. Is he on two? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Jordy. Hello, Jerry. How are you doing, sir? Doing the best. I was just listening to that wee lady and I remembered well with the old happy coats in the bed. When you were a young lad, uh, Jordy, is that kind of is that the kind of does Oh that yes, sound that's what we you? were that's the way we were brought up to well, and my ma used to buy the old axe army coats of you called old Blumberg the pick man. <laughs> you know. Old them Bl big happy shirty coats, you know, with the brass buttons. Old Blumberg the tick man. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Where was he out of? Well, he was right of Bond Bridge. Yeah. And uh, he used to come round the weekend looking money and half time and my had money and we had to pay them off. She had to give him a couple of rabbits. Would he take the rabbits? Oh, yes. Oh, why, the rabbits was good, good them in the years, like. I love a rabbit. Oh, why? That's the way my ma used to pay them off half time. Mm-hmm. And do you remember people come to your house? Oh, yes. I was my Tories and, and the Pattersons and and, and, and uh, an old boy Kearney used to come out ten whistles in the fiddle then. Yes. Drop of the pot game then. A drop of the crater. Oh, aye. Okay. And would they, um, would, would, they, would they come there once a week or twice oh, a week? Oh, once, or? usually on a Friday night. On a Friday night. And, and then... once they got a lack of pound yard up one. <laughs> you know. Uh-huh. Well, and then, of course, maybe your parents would have went somewhere else another night. Oh, yes, we used to have different houses. We used to live in a wee row of houses. There used to be, I think, was five wee white boys' houses up the Scarborough Road. Yes. Well, you see, you know, as far as I remember it, it was a very busy social schedule. Oh, it was. Oh, I. Because, I mean, people would be going out nearly maybe three, four nights a week to different houses, and then they would have a do in one of their own houses. So that's a fairly hectic schedule. Oh, that's right, then. Nope. Oh. Up fresh and well the next morning for the work. They used to start, some of them used to have to start at six o'clock in the old factories then. Mm hmm You know? Mm-hmm. And, and did, you uh, ever, did you ever see, uh, when did this stop? Oh, think well, about it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to think of when this stopped. It stop, is. But it seems to have stopped, as far as I was saying earlier, it seemed to have stopped when television became general. That's right, uh-huh. That's that would right. Have been the late people, 50s, you never would have seen people then. Yeah, because people stopped going to each other's houses when they got TVs. What happened is the first person would get the TV, right? And then everybody would come to the house to look at it. That was it, uh-huh. And, and then everybody would get a TV, so they'd stay in their own house. in the corner. Yes, they'd, have, they'd stay in their own house to look at it. And then they stopped visiting each other because they were getting in the way. That's right. And people stopped all that. It's an awful shame. Oh, well, I better uh, not going to be good news for you. What's that? Oh, and uh, there's two or three ladies, we stall holders and George and Marcus, not that plays with you. Hey, why is that a wonder? Because you were to give out what was on on Friday or not, and they all listened to 12, and you never give out what was on or off. And it was on? Oh, it was. We went on, on me went on, eh? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot all about that. I was probably And the set never was closed, and they said, oh, they give you a core bargain. Mm-hmm. Well, that. I have to apologize to them and to tell the people that George's market is open. Oh, yes. Right. And okay. I met two lovely ladies who were looking for me and two sisters, and... Took me around the wee pub and bought my drink and all. And what happened after that? Oh, well, Anne was there. Oh, well, just a good bit of chat and she was a bit one about herbs and all, you know. What would have happened if Anne hadn't been there? Ah, oh, well. Mm -hmm. But uh, she's a good wee lady about herbs and all. What does she know about herbs that we Ah, oh, well, know? she takes them, you know. She's just not the best, you know. Herbal medicine? Ah. Homeopathic medicine. I was telling her about the nettles. All the young nettles become a nan make nettle soup. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing for clearing the kidneys and all that. I wouldn't fancy clearing my kidneys out with nettles. Oh, it's, it's good stuff. Really? Oh, I... What do you do? You boil it up, you boil the nettles up. Uh-huh. 
Oh, and, yes. uh, you, you told us that before, but tell us again how you make nettle soup. There may be people out there who don't know. Well, the young nettles, you know, not the big, long, stocky ones, just as the young nettles is coming. Would you use just the leaves or the stalks Oh, just as well? the leaves. Oh, you can, well, the young nettles, they don't have much of a stock. As the girl you said, know. yeah, yeah. Yes. And man, just get a bunch of them and, and uh, clip them up. Right. And then you can put an onion and a carrot or three in it. And then as the wheezing down... Put another bunch in too, you know. Another bunch, just keep topping, uh-huh. topping up and the drop nettles. of salt. Maybe a bit of an onion, a bit of a uh-huh, carrot. Yes, and a drop of salt or oil and, and a bit of streaky bacon. Have you ever a bit of fat bacon there? It's bit of, good. A bit of fat bacon? And what, uh-huh. does that, what does that look like when it's finished? Oh, it's like a greenish. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Consomme? Uh-huh. Oh, it's nice. Uh, is, it, is it nice? Oh, it is. Well, you know, I would nearly tackle that myself. Oh, what is that supposed, nice. What's that supposed to be good for? Kidneys? Uh? Oh, yes, well, you know the way they say if your kidneys is right, you're all right. That's true. And your liver. Show me a man with happy kidneys and I'll show you a happy man. Yeah, that's right, and the liver. That's supposed to re wash, re No. That's like, right. There's nothing worse than a man whose kidneys give him jip. Well, that's it. And it's good for your liver, too. Oh, uh-huh, yes. Well, I'll tell you what, it certainly wouldn't do them any harm. And what do you think, too, after six years or so? Mine won't, I think it was the worst time I really phoned you. Mm-hmm. I lost my middle duck. Half a wall. Oh, you didn't. That's right, yeah. Well, I've had, I send the post now and it's coming from Derry. That man that Sean knows, he's here's one and he's posting it to me. Who's it's, that? It's about Mar- here tomorrow. Who's that? Who's Bre- Brendan, Brand, S- Brendan, Brendan Smith. Some, Brendan Smith. Yes. Have you got Geordie's middle duck? No, Brenton Smith got his middle duck. Have you organised for Brenton Smith to get your middle Brenton Smith did this himself. And nothing to do with me. Oh, Brenton Smith. Oh, I'm surprised you're not taking credit for no, it. No, I'm not. No, you must so give Brenton credit Smith for credit took to this, you. Brenton took on it himself. To Brenton get was down visiting Jordy last week. Ah, so he spotted your middle duck not there. Uh, and he was asking me, he says, well, did he ever get one? He says, I'm surprised and Jerry showed that you never got a middle duck. And he says, I think I have one, but, but he, he t- wasn't just sure why it was playing the right road. You know. Well, he could have just turned it round, couldn't he? Oh, no, you couldn't. Oh, you can't turn them round. Oh, no. Hold on a second. I'm just trying to visualise that you have three there. You have three ducks. Uh-huh. The middle duck is missing. It takes an expert to know which one's the middle one, without seeing the other two. Ah, oh, but I know he knew. Oh, do you know the middle duck? Sean. If no, you, I wouldn't if know. If I handed you a duck now. I wouldn't know it was the middle duck. Uh, the, 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 first, the first one's the small one. Well, it all depends. Yeah, well, sometimes uh, the top, one, some, the top, the top one's, one's the, the biggest the top one. Sm- no, the top one's the smallest. The top one's the biggest one. It's the bottom no. one's the bottom one's the biggest one. Hold on a second. Ask the expert. George. The bottom, the bottom. Sean's right. The bottom was the biggest one, and the middle one is the next one, and mm-hmm. the small one's the top. Yes. So you can't just turn one round. No. Then it's going the other direction. Yeah. So it's not a good enough after all these years. After all these years, you got a middle duck, and it's the same as the other two. Uh huh. How did, of course, he would have known to see them. And you've got it already. No, he, oh, he, it's posted, he posted it yesterday. He phoned me now uh, on Sunday night, yeah. and he's posting it on Monday, so I should be here tomorrow. Wouldn't it be terrible if something happened to it in the post? No, I wouldn't not. After all, the old killjoy. After, and he, <coughs> and he said after all these years, after all these years, wouldn't it be... Wouldn't it be terrible? Uh, you know, it's just one of those disasters. Well, I hope nothing happens to your middle duck. Ah, no. I know what it's like to have a middle duck smashed. Ah, do you know what he was telling me? He, 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 do you know he's a fish and ship, ship shop up and down? I do indeed. I know the man of whom we speak. He well, has a very good fish and ship shop. Well, there you are. Well, now, last Tuesday he got a box, you know, of fish. Yes. I shows you two the way they're all jumping on the van wagon with this foot and mouth. Uh-huh. Uh, well, a box of fish cost him eighteen pound last Tuesday. But well, what is a box of fish? And then he come, your boy come on Thursday. He says, "Yet, I that axe you know, for Paddy's Day." Uh-huh. And he says, "Leave me three boxes." Yes. And the boy says, "When well, I before I leave the three, I'll have to tell you the price." Mm-hmm. There were thirty pound a box. From eighteen. From it, uh, from Tuesday to Thursday, from eighteen or up to thirty. They dropped twelve pounds. And he says next week he says like about thirty five or forty. So you what? Hold on a minute. I don't know many fish getting foot and mouth disease. I know, but that's why people is always eating the fish now. Oh, I see. You see? Because they don't want to eat the meat. That's right. They're eating the fish, so therefore the fish becomes more expensive. Uh huh. So they're, the they're making it now. It's a terrible CD. Oh, world, why, there's it? always a silver lining for someone. I know it's an ill wind. So I. Have. Well, tell me this and tell me no more. When you were young and in your house and all the visitors came, were you allowed to take part? No, no, no. Were you thrown up to Yeah, no, well, at the early stages, you know, but then at that time, Jerry, all, we, we, we always went to bed at half seven, eight o'clock. That's very There's early. no such thing as the way young ones is now running about the streets. 
Well, I remember Daniel O'Donnell was in here and he was telling us about he used to look through the cracks in the door. Well, that's right, too. Well, he lived with an old wooden door. It was full of cracks. Mm-hmm. Well, many a peep I had through it. Did you ever look through the cracks in the doors the oh, s- same way Daniel did? Andy, oh, yes. Andy, Andy Brown would like to share some memories with uh, Jordy, if you if you take them on one there, please. Pardon? Andy Brown. What's your number? Would like to share some memories with Jordy, if you would talk to him on yeah. one, please. Oh, Andy! Hello, Jerry. You're through to me and Jordy. Aye. Listen, I hear you talking about the old times there. Um... Did you ever go to bed with a stone jar? I, well, I, I've been desperate, you know, but not that desperate. <laughs> well, ask Jordy, maybe he did. Uh, well, uh, you're talking about old times there and the way people lived. Uh, I was reared in an old farmhouse, and uh, in them days, you talk about central heating and double glazed windows. Mm-hmm. You had a net curtain hanging on it. It was usually blowing about two foot into the room. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, you're talking about the coat, uh, the, the air drain with the sleeves on it and the buttons on it. Mm. Only the time I went to bed and that's what was keeping you warm as well. What about you, Jordy? Do you have any problem with insulation at night? Jordy? No, I never had no... We were just something the same as your, your wee man there, Andy. You know what he may means? not be a wee man. Are you a wee man? No, I'm not. I'm six foot two, so he... he, he, he Andy's he's six a... foot two. He's not a wee man at all, Jordy. You're a wee man. <laughs> You're no e-man. Do you know, Jerry, there never was the same from that old sat the heat and the double days came in. You know, sure the young ones now, they never want a cow and they're coughing and sneezing. Yeah, well, I suppose... So we had traps coming through and you know what it is, we never had a cow. Didn't yeah. know what a cow was. Well, I don't know. There's pros and there's cons, isn't there? And then you can, I can remember, too, Muller, we had a, what you call a well garden and that was about two or three hundred yards away from the house. And the water was carried up in a big enamel bucket and put in what you called a crock. Now, that was in the scullery. A lot of the young ones today wouldn't know what the scullery was. Uh, that was the drinking water. That That's, was where making the tan stuff. That was what, and that was always, there was a big range going and uh, there was a cast iron kettle sat on the top of it. And no matter who came in, there was water there for to make tea. Did you ever put the little hoop around the two buckets and make it easier carrying? Oh, many of the time I did, yeah. Ah, you know the little hoop and made it easy and... And it stopped up from splicing around your legs. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry wouldn't remember that. But... <laughs> no. Jerry, we're having a wee bit of sound trouble here. I hope you don't mind. No, you're, uh, okay. you're, you're going up and down. Well, listen, Andy, thank you very much, sir. All right, Jerry. You're a gentleman. Cheers, boy. I listen oh. to you every morning. Oh, good man. Thank right. you. Bye, night. Bye. Oh. Okay oh, then, Jerry. Okay, okay, Jerry. Good luck to you. And the, and, and the goose is sitting tight on 13 eggs. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, aye, she's up this morning, Barge, and she's back on again. Thirteen eggs will bring a tear to her eye. Okay, Jerry. Let me know how she gets on. I will, I will you. you. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.